Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, FAA announces effective dates for final drone rules. Also, Liquid Piston wins Air Force contract. And EASA issues guidelines for management of airport drone incidents. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's start with the final rules requiring remote identification of drones and allowing some flights over people, over moving vehicles, and at night under certain conditions will go into effect on April 21st. Remote ID requires identification of drones in flight as well as the location of their stations or takeoff point. It provides crucial information to our national security and law enforcement partners and other officials charged with ensuring public safety. Airspace awareness reduces the risk of drone interference with other aircraft, people, and property on the ground. The operations over people rule applies to pilots who fly under Part 107 of the Federal Aviation Regulations. The ability to fly over people and moving vehicles varies depending on the level of risk a small drone operation presents to the people on the ground. The rule allows operations based on four categories. Additionally, this rule allows operations at night under certain conditions. Prior to flying under the new provisions, a remote pilot must pass an updated initial knowledge test or complete the appropriate updated online training course, which will be available on April 6th. The new FAA regulations jointly provide increased flexibility to conduct certain small drone operations without obtaining a waiver. After these messages, Sun and Fun is just a few weeks away and they're rolling out their digital daily. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Axon and Skydio partner on public safety drone offerings. Axon and Skydio have decided to partner on autonomous drone systems for law enforcement and emergency responders via Axon's unmanned aircraft program, Axon Air. Axon will act as a reseller and digital evidence management partner for Skydio. Skydio drone captured imagery will be shareable for agencies and live alongside corresponding body camera video in Axon's digital evidence management platform, Axon Evidence. U.S. Border Patrol agents assigned to the Del Rio sector have detected more than 3,000 individuals with the assistance of SUAS since the beginning of fiscal year 2021. The SUAS platforms are operated by Border Patrol agents assigned to the Eagle Pass, Eagle Pass South, Carrizo Springs, Comstock, and Brackettville stations. Statistics speaks volumes for the SUAS program, with roughly 3,500 individuals detected, resulting in more than 2,700 apprehensions to date this fiscal year. That amounts to approximate 80% apprehension rate. American Aerospace Sign MOU Integrating Detect and Avoid System Sage Tech Avionics and American Aerospace ISR have signed an MOU to integrate Sage Tech's detect and avoid system into the AAISR Air Ranger unmanned aircraft. The companies expect to have certifiable prototype of the system ready for flight testing by the end of the year. 
The detect and avoid systems are critical for beyond visual line of sight, flight, and critical to the mission of the Long Endurance Air Ranger aircraft, said Tom Furry, CEO of Sage Tech Avionics. ANN to produce Sun and Fun Digital Daily. ANN is pleased to announce that the first big aviation event of the year, one will feature several night drone shows as part of their air show events, will also feature real time news published by our news team accessible at the site you see on your screen. The Sun and Fun Digital Daily will play a major role in getting the aviation world exciting news from the first major in-person trade show since the beginning of the pandemic. Manned and unmanned, there will be plenty to report, so don't miss our coverage starting this April 13th through the 18th. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Liquid Piston wins Air Force contract. Liquid Piston has disclosed the adaptation of its X-Engine technology for the United States Air Force to use in UAS as well as ORDS, UAM vehicles designed to carry people and cargo around. The X-Engine, the next-generation rotary diesel engine, is being evaluated as an enabling technology to power the UAS or ORB through a hybrid electric propulsion system. Because the current battery technology limits the range of an orb's flight, the X engine converts the energy contained in jet fuels and enables the Air Force's UAS or orb to become a reality. The Air Force has awarded Liquid Piston a Phase 1 small business technology transfer contract through its AFWRC operation to enable this development of the X engine. The contract is in support of AFWRC's Agility Prime, a non-traditional program seeking to leverage commercial eVTOL and other transformative vertical flight vehicles for government missions in a way that accelerates the emerging commercial market. Orbs falls into this category and are classified by their eVTOL capabilities, but are not to be confused with flying cars or drones. Coming up after the break, because of drone pilots behaving badly and disrupting European air traffic, EASA issues guidelines. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're gonna hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. EASA issues guidelines for management of airport drone incidents. EASA has published guidance to help aviation operators and national authorities manage drone incidents near airports. A response to a number of recent events which have disrupted Europe's air traffic at considerable expense to aviation operators, bringing the inconvenience for passengers and posing a potential safety threat. EASA drone incident management at aerodromes manual addresses unauthorized drone usage in the vicinity of airports. Such incidents may occur by accident, when individuals are simply not aware of the problems their actions may create, or due to individuals acting with deliberate intent to disrupt, such as activists. At the extreme, these actions may be criminal or terrorist motivation. The manual includes guidance on how to ascertain whether a criminal offense has been committed. 
developed with input from law enforcement authorities. The root problem here is that these individuals are unauthorized and therefore by definition take place in ignorance or avoidance of the rules that have been defined for safe drone operations, said IASA Executive Director Patrick Kai. And that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Make sure you follow our YouTube channel, and you can also catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.